Hello, I'm Bonnie Browning and I'm here at AQS Quilt Week in Branson, Missouri. And I have a first time entrant in our AQS contest. Welcome Pam Gavitt from Thank Galena, you. Missouri. Thank you very much. Well, it's you, an honor. <laughs> Well, and, and, and so since the, this is your first entry, it is. Uh, what gave you the push to go ahead and enter your quilt? I thought, well, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Thank you, but no thank you very much. And I thought, you know what? I'm proud of my work and let's see what it, what it does. And at least you're gonna share it with all the people that come to the show, aren't you? I am, I am, and I was, honored to be semi-finalist, so I can't complain about that. All right, well, it is a beautiful quilt, and so Thank you. Um, you told me it was a pattern. It is a pattern. And, and of course, we have like the Dresden plate, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we have a, a, a circle, and you've, you've fussy cut these circles, haven't you? I did, you? yes, to bring out all the beautiful pan, uh, peonies they're my favorite flower, and pink, of course, is my favorite color. So I wanted to really bring out the, the flowers in that Dresden plate. Well, and this is a, a good pattern because it's actually two blocks, isn't it? It is. So the one that has the pieced squares, boy, does that lead your eye across the quilt, <laughs> doesn't it? It does, it does. And it also makes these stand out a little bit more. So, you know, for people that are working on their quilts, a two block quilt with one being simple, one being more, more delicate, mm -hmm. it's a good way to put your quilt together, isn't it? Oh, it was fun. It was really fun. And it was kind of a little bit of a challenge because I, I don't normally like to do a lot of cutting, but I, d I did. Well, and, and, and so the quilting, did you do the quilting? I did not. A lady in Fort Smith, Arkansas did my quilting for me, Connie Bailey, and she is an awesome quilter. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, any time that you echo the shape, it makes this stand out even more prominently, doesn't it? It does. And she's got some feathers tucked in here all over the mm -hmm. place. Looks like the heart shape made with feathers. Uh, well, it, it complements your work well, very it well, does, doesn't it? Does. It does, yes. Okay, so now you have a print that you've used for your border. I do, and it is the material that I use for the plates. So it, it ties it all together because just looking at the plates, you can't see the whole theme of that material, I think. Right. And it just brought out the whole quilt, I, I believe. But Well, and so the trick with that is it's always good to take either some element from the border and put it in the center or something in the center and put it in the border. Yes, yeah, because yes. well, that way there you know what, what kind of fabric the quilter had in mind on how that was going to complete the whole quilt. Yes, makes a great frame, doesn't it? It, it does, <laughs> and, and if you see the little green over here, this is the same green that I bordered that bigger border with to make it like a picture frame. How long did it take you to make this quilt? A year. One year? Yep. Well, and you know, people always ask that question. You know, somebody might say two months. I'd probably be saying two years. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a beautiful quilt, and thank you so much for entering it in the AQS contest. Thank you. Thank you. It was my honor, and I'm, I'm very pleased with it, so. Well, I hope we'll see some more work from you. You can count on it. You uh, ought to see what I'm working on right now. Okay. <laughs> well, don't show me yet. You don't oh, want I to won't. expose it until it's I, all done. I won't. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope that you'll enter your quilts in the AQS contest. And better yet, we hope you'll come see us at one of our AQS quilt shows very soon.